Hey everyone, this is the next tutorial in my Attack on Titan series. If you like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and now let's begin the tutorial. First thing I did was mix Wolf's white and red face paints together to get a light red color. It's a little pinkish. I used that color to draw a circular shape around my eye. Almost everything you paint red on your face, you're going to have to create a gradient effect. So each area will be black on the outer edges and then fade to a light red. As you can see, it's going from a darker red to a lighter red to a lighter red and to the lightest red. And I mainly used Wolf's red face paint to do this and Mayron's red face paint and Berry red face paint. Use one of the darker shades of the red face paint to create bags under the eyes or maybe like muscle fibers that are more defined and then use it also to line your lash line. You need to create that right below the eye because you're going to end up putting those little details that female tied in has under the eyes in that area. And right now I'm using the black face paint to outline the design and then I just blend all the face paints in together. Moving on, I used a white face paint to paint the details below female Titan's eyes. Now in the anime, those details aren't white, but I was copying a picture of female Titan that I really liked, so I decided to use that version. Between each white detail, I used the black face paint to shade toward the top of those details, and then I used a dark red face paint to shade between the bottom of the um, details. This helps create depth in that area and gives it that 3D effect. Not everyone has to do this, but go ahead and apply a foundation a few shades lighter than your natural skin tone. You can even use white if you like. And now moving on to the mouth. I used a nice shadow to shade the mouth first, just because I wanted the um, each little section in the mouth to fade to my natural skin color. So it adds a lot of depth in that area. And then I basically do the same thing. I just have it go from a black color and then fade it into the lightest color, which is my skin color. And I don't apply the black face paint everywhere on the mouth. I just apply it to like the outer edges of each design. Go ahead and use that face paint to add those little markings on the forehead and below the eyes. And now you want to highlight every area. So I'm using Wolf's face paint and ivory to highlight right below the eyes and in between the mouth. This is really going to add dimension to the look and help it look realistic. Not necessarily realistic, but cooler and not so flat. So you got to make sure you highlight between the mouth and right below the eyes. And then you have to shade below those areas. So go ahead and use the eyeshadow a few shades darker than your natural skin tone to shade under every area you highlighted. So that's under the eyes, between the mouth, and you want to shade right below those little markings that you made on the face because this is just going to help them look like they're popping out. You can use the eyeshadow to contour your nose. I went ahead and did that just because I thought it looked cooler. Now moving on to the bottom portion of the face. I use the ivory face paint to outline my neck bone and my collar bone. And then I go ahead and do the sack. Same thing I did around the eyes. I had those areas between the bones fade from a lighter red out to a darker red. And I had the darker red um, start where my collarbone is, where that hollow area is between the collarbones, um, I went ahead and had the darker red there and then I faded it out when it got closer to my face. And I do the same thing to the area that it's like right above her chest, um, which my sister said that still counts as ribs. Finally, the lips, which are pretty simple to do. You just kind of make that smear right below the lips, and then you paint them in. I ended up using face paint to paint the li um, red lips in. You could go ahead and use a lipstick if you want it. That was it. Again, if you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys this Saturday with my next tutorial. Take care. Bye.